I traveled to Belleville, Illinois recently to research the serial killer Dale Anderson. My research took me to Belleville High School East, where the body of Audrey Cardinals was found in June of 1988. She was an intern for the Belleville New Democrat at the time. The area where she was found was in town. It is a mixed commercial a residential neighborhood. The exact location is a wooded creek that runs right behind the high school. The massive parking lot for the school sits beside it, and a bridge crosses the creek to meet the steps that are sent up to the school. This is one of the most heavily wooded locations in the neighborhood, a peaceful hidden place that some may have called haunted. After Audrey was found, a mentally ill, transient man named Rodney Wookie wandered into the area. He was arrested, charged, and convicted of the murder. He was serving time when journalist Carolyn Tuff started researching the murder and claimed his innocence. He was released after serving 13 years for a murder he did not commit, and he died in 2014. At the time of Audrey's death, several bodies had appeared in the general area, and Elizabeth K. West, Ruth and Jenny, Christina Povlish, U. Elia Chavez, and Audrey Cardinus. They were scattered in various locations around and in Belleville throughout the late 70s and 80s. A man named Greg Bowman was convicted of killing West and Jenny, but he was likewise found to have not been guilty of the crime. All of these victims had similar aspects related to them, and FBI profiler Robert Wessler came to the conclusion that there was a serial killer who was behind it, and the killer was Dale Anderson. Dale was born on November 24, 1951. It is believed that he started his killing spree in 1978. Although serial killers sometimes have careers that are never fully known. Dale had always wanted to be a police officer, but he was never able to get hired by any of the departments until a federal grant allowed him to be hired for one year at the St. Clair Sheriff's Department as a jailer. After that, he got hired by the Illinois Department of Public Aid. It was not long until he started feeling that co-workers and supervisors were picking on him. He went after them with a vengeance. In 1988, he filed a complaint that led the co-workers Maurice Vale, Robert Delaria, and Charlotte Cooper were getting arrested. He claimed they assaulted him. He later staged a shooting scene and accused them of trying to kill him. It was obvious that he was about to get these co workers, so he was put out administrative leave and then fired. It was at this time that he murdered Jolene Lemon and her three year old son. He planted evidence to try to link the murder to his co workers who had gotten him fired. An 11-year-old neighbor saw a vehicle that matched Dale's car leaving the landman home at the time of the murder. She had memorized the car's license plate number. It was Dale Anderson. A search warrant served on Dale's home, found several items, including his handwriting, which linked them to the landman murder and his attempt to set up his co-workers. Dale Anderson was convicted of the landman murder on April 17, 1990. He was sentenced to life in prison. He is currently serving time at the Pontiac Prison in Illinois. Due to the efforts of FBI profiler Robert Wessler and journalist Carolyn Tuff, Anderson had been linked to the murders of Elizabeth K. West, Ruth Ann, Jenny, Christina Povlish, Ulrich Chavez, and Audrey Cardinals as well, but he had not confessed.